Hello everyone, Joe into all UV here, and this is a video about how to identify your Cushcraft antenna traps using the Nano VNA. As you're probably aware, the uh, Cushcraft traps have labels that uh, suffer from poor adhesion, uh, they don't hold up well in the weather, and uh, you end up losing the label and you don't know what your trap is. Uh, here I have two traps. These were brand new on an old, new old stock uh, AV5 vertical, and the labels fell off. And uh, through process of elimination, I determined I have a TF and a TG, uh, which is which I don't know, but we're going to find out. Uh, there really hasn't been anything good on the web about how to tell uh, what these are. Uh, I, I did see something where they suggested using a grid dip oscillator, but um, it's very difficult to do that and uh, I tried and found it nearly impossible to get a good accurate dip uh, and it didn't bring me any closer to finding out which trap was which. I believe part of the reason is the uh, cover which is part of the capacitor in the trap that uh, that makes it difficult to, uh, to couple to the thing and get a good reading. Uh, I did do some more searching on the web and came across a paper written by uh, IW2FND uh, Lucio Adelini back in 2012 and uh, he was measuring the, a trap with a uh, VNA. Uh, I suspect back in 2012 uh, the mini unit he was using was probably several hundred dollars uh, nowadays these nanos are very inexpensive and within reach of practically everyone so I thought I would do something here uh, for folks looking to figure out what traps they have and uh, using the uh, the nano VNA um, so again credit uh, for this uh, setup here would, would go to, uh, to, to Lucio uh, I just basically followed what he did and I'll just go over quickly here uh, he created a pi attenuator and he used uh, 620 ohm resistors so basically we have two in parallel from the center to the ground uh, one in series here going out to our lead to the trap and a mirror image of that on this side going out uh, and he states the reason for this is it helps present the 50 ohm load to the VNA and uh, also provides some attenuation to get a good reading and uh, it seems to be working out really well for me so I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what I, I'm finding here now I'm very new to the, the Nano VNA I mean this is actually the first time I've taken it out of the box and used it so I'm not an expert uh, hopefully I'm doing everything right here I believe I am based on the readings I'm seeing uh, so I have it calibrated and set up uh, for log mag uh, which you can see there on the screen, and you do the full calibration, the, uh, the open, short, load, and uh, through, and uh, isolation, because we're going to be using both ports. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this sheet, and here's our suspect traps, and we see that uh, the oscillating frequency of the TG is 20.17, TF is 27.87. So we go back here to the VNA, and uh, I believe I have this, the span on this thing about 18 to 30 megahertz. And uh, our marker one here is uh, it's right about where we need it. And if we look at our marker frequency, we're very close to 20 megahertz on that. It probably is if I move it over a little bit. Yeah, about 20. 20.040 okay so maybe a little less but but basically 20 megahertz uh, so that's in line with our TG trap here so we're, we're pretty certain that this is uh, this is the TG okay so we're gonna take this one out and uh, we're gonna go to the uh, to the one we believe is the TF trap put this guy aside here back here on the bench Okay, we're going to connect up our TF, what we believe to be our TF trap, Let's see what we have, if I can get it to stay where I want it, there we go, oh, it's rolling away on me again, okay, here we go, okay, let's get a clip on here, okay, okay, now you 
you see we have a, a dip here in the higher frequency end of our span. So let's see where that ends up. Let's see if I can get this marker to move. It's probably not the best using a pen, but let's see if we can get it down there. Okay. So we have a frequency of about 27.360. And our paper says 27.87. So that's real close. So I'm going to say that that is quite possibly or very certainly the uh, the TF trap so now we have our uh, trap identification completed and that's how you do it using the uh, nano VNA hope this helps uh, anyone out who uh, who has some Cushcraft mystery traps sitting around thanks for watching